Namaste to you all and welcome to this video. Today's topic is attachments and really how to release the attachment, how to let go of your attachment and really get to be in a um, detached state of consciousness, get to be in a state of consciousness that is actually at peace, okay? Now, I've seen in my own journey that it was really easy for me to get attached to certain things. It was really easy for me to get attached to my identity, my status, my material possession or a certain person. But what I'm realizing is the fact that those things created suffering, okay? Those things created suffering and it's true. Attachment creates suffering. Buddha said that attachment creates suffering and it's really, it's really true, okay? The more that you have an energy bond to something is the more that you actually lose your power and it's again it's really easy to get attached to certain things because we all have wounds and we all sometimes need the attention for us to actually um, put some uh, water on those wounds okay so my suggestion is if you really want to let go of your attachment is start making peace with your inner world okay because if you are not at peace with yourself you are not at peace with life and what i'm seeing in my own journey is the fact that the more that i'm looking at myself honestly and by this i mean looking at my thought patterns, my emotional patterns, my belief systems, my actions. And the more that I'm integrating those things and the more that I'm becoming my complete self is the more that I also let go of the attachment, okay? Is the more that I'm becoming at peace with the present moment. Now, attachment happens when we are desiring so much, okay? And there's nothing wrong with desire. But when you are attached to your desires, you will be in suffering. So my suggestion is start desiring at an authentic level. Start desiring without being attached to the desire. And usually attachment happens when we are focused either on the future or the past, okay? In the present moment, there is actually peace. In the present moment, you are content with everything in your life. The present moment is bliss. But our mind likes to wander either in the future or the past. My suggestion is stop wandering either in the future or the past and begin accepting the present moment. Because the magic is happening in the now. The now is the eternal moment that exists. There is only now, okay? So if you are attached to certain things, you won't be able to operate in the now because your energy is uh, projected at another place and another time. But when you are focused into the now, you will actually release the blockage. You will actually step into a high vibrational state of consciousness. Now, we all may have a program and this society actually gives us programs okay we are being programmed to compare ourselves to other people maybe we are being programmed to be attached to our identity we are being programmed to constantly seek outside of ourselves but when we step into our spirit and when we step into our natural state of consciousness we realize that we already have everything that we need within ourselves and the thing is that when you make peace with your inner world, you also make peace with your outer world because the inner and the outer are actually one energy. They're actually connected into oneness, okay? So the more that you learn to alchemize your inner world and the more that you learn to master your inner world is the more that you will actually learn to master your life. Okay, because this is the principle of correspondence as within so without guys. Okay, what is happening within yourself will also happen outside of yourself. So if you really want authentically a different outcome on the outside, you got to change your inner world. Okay, you got to shift your inner world. You got to shift your mindset, your mm, accepting levels. You got to shift your inner world. Okay. So it's easy to get attached to certain things. And I was attached myself to certain things. And I realized that that created suffering. But what I'm realizing right now is the fact that everything that I need to deal with in my life are the things that I need to deal with myself. Okay, so for example, your bank balance is created by your inner world, okay? So if you are in a scarcity mindset, 
and if you are in a lack mindset then your auto world will also provide you that because what you agree upon you will actually receive okay so whatever you believe subconsciously that will actually manifest into your life whatever is happening in your mind that will also manifest in your life at some level so the more that you learn to make peace with yourself and the more that you accept everything into your life unconditionally is the more that you will actually expand your consciousness at a different level and the thing is that when you shift your inner world you will also get to attract more things into your life you know because that is how it works as within so without my suggestion is alchemize and master what is happening within yourself okay the secret is within yourself and deprogram and reprogram your subconscious mind that is such a powerful thing to do because you know you may live your life just doing nothing but when you step into that um, developing state of consciousness when you actually um, open your heart to new experiences and when you open your consciousness into a new state you will realize that you have the power to manifest whatever you desire but when you are being aloof and when you are being static it's like the, the same things are repeating into your life so my suggestion is repeat things but uh, also allow things to come into your life okay you cannot do the same mistake and ex expect different results so my suggestion is step into that passion of yours step into who you really are step into that beautiful state of consciousness and you will see magic happen okay so yeah guys attachment creates suffering my suggestion is start letting go and <clears throat> i really read uh, something about Osho last night and he said that enlightenment happens when all seeking is gone okay and you know when you are putting your consciousness into the present moment that is where you, the magic is happening when you are not being attached to anything anymore that is when enlightenment is happening okay so let go let go and just be yourself in the process it's all it takes but also begin to question yourself you know question what your thought patterns are question what your belief systems are question what the matrix is trying to show you you know because we may be uh we may be deceived you know we may be um, i don't know we may be programmed to be a certain way but my suggestion is find your own vision, find your own unique self-expression, find who you really are and get to be that version in this reality. Okay, so guys, remember, attachment may create suffering, but when you make peace with yourself and when you are content with where you are and with who you are, when you accept yourself unconditionally, you will also mm, be happier you know you will also be happier when you accept yourself unconditionally you will also be happier so accept more and love yourself more and be who you really are be in alignment with who you really are and you will see magic happen okay so follow your own perspective question yourself that is such an important thing to do because if you are living in a sleeping mode and if you are not aware of your thoughts then you will actually be a robot in this matrix but when you are beginning to question your inner world when you are beginning to express yourself when you are beginning to be an artist then you will actually release a beautiful energy into the world and your energy will actually help the world expand so guys thanks so much for watching and this was today's message about attachment Try as much as possible to find the magnetism. Deal, the th deal with the things in your life that you have to deal with with yourself, okay? Everything that you need to deal with in your life are the things that you need to deal with yourself. Everything is happening in relationship with you, okay? When you shift you, you also shift your outer reality because the inner and the outer are actually one thing, one consciousness. So guys, thanks so much for watching and if you are new to the YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment 
and if you wish to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one level feel free to contact me at my facebook address in the description below and if you wish to be part of my spiritual podcast called kindly awakening feel free to send me a message uh, at my facebook address in the description below this was today's message about letting go of the attachment and really beginning to find contentment with your inner world i love you so much much peace and see you on what is coming up next you are appreciated you are loved and see you on the next video much peace bye bye and see ya